Therefore, she said, who told this, this? I mean, this is God talking. This is my grandma. This is my grandma visiting her, her neighbor. They are talking about the other grandma, what she said to her, uh, you know, uh, her daughter-in-law. What is this? God, he speak like this? The prophet, he said something to his wife and the wife, she told other wives. And then when the news came to the prophet, the prophet, he confirmed some and he rejects some. And then, I mean, what is this? This is wisdom, my friend. Muhammad is the guru of India, brother. If the Indian brother, they saw the prophet in the time of the, you know, the old days, 1400 years, they will make him the guru of women and wives. That is God, and this is a prophet. And then Allah here want to solve the problem. Look what he said. If you turn into repentance to him, repentance to him, why? What they did? Your heart are indeed so inclined. But, but, if you back up each other against him truly Allah is his protector what two wives they are five foot tall and now Muhammad he got the support of Allah to protect him what they will do they will cut his penis what do you mean are they in war and Jibreel, Allah is not enough. I mean, the fight is so big. The fight is so big to the point Allah alone is not good to do any good. I mean, how Allah can help? He cannot alone. Those are two women, Aisha and Hafsa. Are you crazy? They are crazy. So Allah truly is the protector. And in the top of that, Jibreel. And the brother. And not only Jibreel alone, and every righteous believer all the way from Pakistan to India, and even in Hululu. Among those who believe, they are going to take the side of the Prophet against his wife. And furthermore, brother, and furthermore, the angels, if, 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 if all of those to fight two female, those are enough to destroy the whole earth. All of this, Allah. And the angels and Jibreel and every righteous believer. Shabir Ali is there, Zakir Naik is there. All of them they are holding sticks and rocks, they are throwing rocks at Aisha. All of this to fight two females, and they are the wives of Muhammad. I can accept this verse if Muhammad trying to fight uh, uh, Margaret Thatcher when she was a prime minister. I mean, come on. You are fighting who, who are here? So when you say to me, Muhammad was happy, that's a joke. What are you talking about? Obviously, this guy, you see, Allah is the puppet of Muhammad. He used him as he wished for his purpose. Here we go. He want to silence the wives. So what he do? And by the way, this verse he took it from who anyone remember hmm? who is the one who gave him this chapter who remember anyone remember Omar ibn al-Khattab Omar ibn al-Khattab is the one behind this verse Omar ibn Khattab he said that verse Muhammad he put it in the Quran and even the hadith confirmed that from which side ajib ma'ani al-kalimat mawjuda fil Quran so you speak Arabic Idi do I understand that you speak Arabic or you are using uh, Google translation to translate what you said? I'm assuming that you speak Arabic. 
well the word in the Quran simply uh, um, you can search very simple first of all um, you can copy a word and you can try to find it in the dictionary but remember uh, sometimes dictionary even dictionary cannot recognize words because um, you have to search for the root of the word so you have to have like a some kind of a, a strong Arabic before you can find really the meaning Uh, oh, the person who sent me says I meant uh, he, he had sexual satisfied. <laughs> I don't think so. Muhammad, he never had sexual satisfied. If you remember the hadith confirm, you see, we have all the laundry of Muhammad. This is the problem. If you have my book, Six and Allah, you will see how Aisha she tried to come to Muhammad to play with him, which means she want to have sex. And Muhammad he says, seek a refugee by Allah from the hard penis. So obviously he is not having one. Excuse my language. And if you remember in the hadith, it says that the Prophet he imagined he had done things. But in fact, he never did, and that is including sex. Right? And actually, even the hadith says clearly that this is including sex. If you read here, it says the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives, but in fact, he did not so obviously Muhammad he don't have a sexual sexual life you see people who brag about something mostly they don't have it and people who have it they don't even mention it like I mean I, I'm not trying to uh, like uh, insult or anything, but let, let's give you a, uh, like uh, an example. If I am a poor person, and nothing wrong with being poor, by the way, but let us say I'm poor, and this is the first time I buy sport shoes. First time ever I wear any new shoes, maybe, in my life. And by the way, this has happened to many people. If you think this is not really a good example, there's people, they never wear something new all their life. All their clothes is used. They, 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 they buy it from used uh, stores clothes they are poor so so imagine I'm very poor and God bless the poor by the way but this is the first time I wear a shoe and they are brand new you can imagine how I will treat my shoes and how I will walk in the street and I will be looking down at them because I cannot believe it I'm wearing those shoes because I don't have it but somebody else is coming from a wealthy family who he changed shoes every day. I mean, he will not even notice the shoes. He will not talk about them. But the other guy who is the poor, who first time wear those shoes, he will go and tell his friends, do you see the shoes? I mean, it's very important thing suddenly happen in his life because this is a normal. When Muhammad he brag about his sexual power, obviously there is something behind. As an example, why a guy he will say to the people that I used to be the most weak person between mankind and sex until I get the power of, sorry, uh, until I invoke Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab and I ate it, I get the power of 40 men. What is this story is about? In this story, Muhammad he agreed in two things that he was the most weak person in sex and then a miracle happened Allah sent him a dish of shish kebab he ate it he got the power of 40 men so here Muhammad is bragging about power of 40 men but he in the same time he admitted that he have a sexual problem you know what I mean so people who brag about something usually is to cover up something they are missing in their life a woman she don't want to show her friends that she is not happy in her life 
so she claim you know hum honey how are you she sent text messages maybe even for a guy is not even exist because she want to show her friend that she have a honey in her life and she is happy and she is excited and she is everything is good and blah, but behind the scene is a different story there is there is a, a, a serological problem with some people who when they miss something and the society around them judge you for that thing what they do they create a fake replacement so that society will not judge them and Muhammad is a person who was born between the Arab and the Arab they make fun of you if you are not man enough as they claim if you cannot have sex and actually this has even happened not only in the Arab society and that explains why Muhammad exaggerate about his sexual power that he have the power of 40 men but obviously as you see he cannot even have sex with one wife from all the wives Muhammad he have, he could not make one one of them have a child. The Muslim they say that he made Mary the Copt Bretna, but the fact is not true. And there is many reference. What I actually said is when, when when this guy he this kid he died, and it's very funny that any kid Muhammad he he claimed that this is his father or he is his father he died. I actually said to him, you know that he don't like 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 you and he is not from you. There is no way Muhammad will accept Aisha to say such a thing about his son unless it's true. Otherwise, he would go crazy in her. Uh, <clears throat> Khadija, the Muslim they say he have from her four daughters. I guarantee you, Muhammad, he have zero daughters from her. The Shia, they agree that only Fatima was his daughter. The rest are the daughters of Khadija from previous husbands. But I believe strongly that zero of them is his daughters and then Muhammad he married according to Muslim 13 women none of them gave him child and that confirmed the story and even there's a verse in the Quran about a guy make fun of Muhammad that he cannot have children's all right 